Well, it seems like we do have the title screen for this game, so let's see how it looks. And here it is. All right, this looks amazing. I really like it. This kind of reminds me a lot of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Anyway, welcome back guys to part 2 of my Pokemon Scarlet playthrough. And if you might remember, last episode we stopped in the beach after we fell down and helped Korai down over here with our mom's sandwich. Anyway, it seems like we are actually kind of stuck in this small cove right here and definitely we do have to get out and as you can see over here, Korai down is actually trying to help us which is pretty cool. We do have to actually go ahead and follow it as well. Other than that, I actually let out my starter Pokemon which is Sprigatito in this playthrough and as you can see it is actually asleep. Pretty cool, I really like this. It's another feature that was copied from Pokemon Legends Arceus and I'm really happy that they have it over here. Another thing is, if you want to crouch down, all you have to do is click on the Y button which will help you crouch down. Now that we are here, let's quickly follow it through the inlet grotto and try to find our way out of this grotto right here to go back to Poco Path. Alright, seems like this place is pretty amazing. As you can see, there is some kind of green moss on the walls. And it also seems like we do have an item to pick up over here as well. I wonder if we'll be able to come here at some point in our game, um, later stage. Because I'm pretty sure we do have a couple of Pokemons that we can only catch over here. Thankfully, it seems like Nemona was able to actually find us and... Since we are okay, all we have to do is try and get back to where she is. Which I think might be a challenge on its own considering how low we are and we definitely would have to climb some rocks. But let's see how we can actually climb out of this place. We do have Koroi down over here helping us so I'm pretty sure we'll get to know it a bit better as well. And we are still not sure how or when we'll get to ride it. So let's see how it goes and go through with this playthrough. And as you can see, it's actually waiting for us to move on. And also seems to be destroying paths and clearing them. This is pretty cool. Um, as you might have seen, there were two Pokemons that were harassing Koraiton before. Which was Houndoom and its minions in this case. Definitely you can see the Houndoom actually standing right there. I don't think we do have to interact with it. But we do have a young goose right here which I'll definitely go ahead and try to catch. As I mentioned before in the last episode, I will be trying to catch all the Pokemons that I can find. And try to see if I can complete the Pokedex in this playthrough. Usually when I play a new game, I really like to actually complete the Pokedex for the very first gameplay I always do. So that is a goal of mine. Let's see how it goes. It definitely seems like we are actually getting some kind of items each time we either defeat a Pokemon or catch it, which is pretty unique to this game. And I'm not really sure what it's gonna help us. Either way, let us quickly pick up this item, not attack that Houndoom up there, which might cause us some issues in the future, but for now we'll ignore it. Alright, here is another young goose, which I, again, I'm not gonna be talking to it, we already caught one. For now, I'm just looking around, seeing if there are any items I can actually pick up before we move on. I feel like this is one of those areas where if you miss any items, you won't be able to come back here for quite some time. So I don't really want to actually miss any items. Alright, here is a normal diglet. So let's quickly go ahead and catch it. You might remember there is a new Pokemon in this game called Wiglet. And I'm actually excited to see when we can actually catch it. I'm pretty sure we should be able to find it pretty soon. Either way, here we have Diglett. Till now, this is the second Pokemon we have seen in this small grotto. And I 
don't think there are many Pokemons here. But if we have missed anyone, I think we can come back in the later stage of the game to cast them. Alright, let me look around a bit more and see if there are any other items that we can pick up. Seems like there is one around here. Yep, there is one more, but we do have this small path down here, so I'll just go ahead and quickly explore. As you can see, my character is having some issues right here, and it's probably because of the fact that um, Koraidon is trying to move up in the top. So without it moving, I can't move my character, and that's the reason why you might have seen it glitch a bit over there. But either way, let me quickly go through this path. Oh, never mind. We do have another cutscene. I guess I do have to be a bit careful because if I try to move my character too much when there is a cutscene, it will actually um, kind of corrupt or you know glitch out my character a bit. I have seen this issue a bit with this game where if you run too fast or go through a bit of a different angle, it does kind of um, give you some issue sometime. Maybe it might be because I still haven't really updated my game uh, to version 1.1 uh, which 1.01 uh, which I think is an update that will come out. Either way, it seems like we are going to have another cutscene right here. So let's move on and that is all for this small grotto. It seems like we have explored all of it and we are at the kind of exit for this area again I can't really move further from this point I do have to follow Koraidon right here all right seems like we have come to a platform and finally Nemona is again able to see us so that is pretty good and ooh, okay is something happening seems like Koraidon is stopping and dash look out something's coming Oh, what? Okay, something's coming behind us. And it's the Houndoom. Yup, I knew it. We definitely had something with this Houndoom. And it seems like we do have to battle it. This is pretty bad because it seems like it's a part of the cutscene itself. As you can see, I tried running away. I tried to kind of switch out to another Pokemon. Try to catch it, but nothing works. You definitely do have to try and use a move over here. Um, I guess this is kind of meant to happen, so let me just use a move. Ooh, okay. It didn't really let me select a move either. And the Pokemon seems to have just come back to its Pokeball automatically, which is an issue for us because now we can't really battle it. Ooh, okay, maybe Coraldon is gonna be helping us. Alright, that is pretty cool. And of course the Houndoom is gonna call for reinforcement. As you can see, its minions are right here and we might have some issue. I don't think I can actually battle all of these Pokemons right here. Let's hope we don't have to do it. And maybe just maybe Koraidon will actually help us yep it seems to have picked us up so we might have a chance to live yes it seems like Nemona is telling us where to go and it was able to rescue us all right that was kind of dramatic to be honest but we were able to save ourselves from the situation and now that we are at the top, it seems like we are back on the Poco path. Pretty cool. I'm glad that we had this legendary Pokemon right here to help us. Way to go. For a second, I thought you were both goners. Yep, me too. Me too. Anyway, now that we are rescued, it seems like Koraidon might help us further as well. Again, not sure what's gonna happen. Ah, there we are, right next to the lighthouse. And it seems like Corridon is actually going. Ah, never mind, it actually collapsed. I guess it was kind of tired after rescuing us. 
I mean, one sandwich is definitely not enough. But of course, it kind of looks like a cyclizar, but I have never seen one quite like this. So definitely, Namuna knows what it might look like. And now it looks like so different from a minute ago. You think it's okay? I don't know, really. Either way, well, all aside that, I am glad that you are back. So Nemona is kind of happy that we are safe. I mean, after all, it was kind of her plan to see what that mysterious cry was. If it wasn't for that, we wouldn't have been in this trouble. Either way, we got a chance to meet Korai down right here. And let's see what happens next. Oh good, looks like it perked up. Do you think this fella was the one making the mysterious cries we heard before? That is true. Oh man, oh man, oh man. The more I look at this Pokemon, the more mysterious it becomes. If you do become its trainer, you gotta let me battle it again. Definitely. Let's exchange numbers so we can get into touch if something like this happens again. That is pretty good. Also, I really like her Rotom phone. I mean, it looks so cool. I'm hoping that we'll get a chance to actually uh, change the Rotom cover as well. Um, as I mentioned in a before video, that is also possible in this game. I mean, if you have played those older games, which is Pokemon Shield, Sword, I believe Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, as well as Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, you do have a chance to go ahead and switch out your Rotom case to an appropriate one. Um, there are quite a few that we can actually select from and I am really excited for that. Anyway, the next objective is to head to the lighthouse. So let's make our way over there. And it seems like someone's actually standing there. But I was trying to go away and see what we might find behind the lighthouse. But I guess we do have another cutscene right here. Why that little... Ooh, okay. That was really rude. What are you doing out here? Oh, okay. That was surprising. And of course, he's not addressing to us both. And he's asking us to show off. Wait, I know you. I'm you Arvin. You're enrolled in Humanitics track, right? I guess we are getting a chance to meet Arvin right here. And aren't you the son of that Pokemon researcher, Professor Sada? Oh, he's angry. Doesn't matter who my mom is. The real issue here is what in the world this Pokemon is doing out here. And what is with this form it's in? Well, I just met it at the bottom of the cliff. That is all that we know. But it seems like Arvin definitely knows more about it, which he's definitely not telling us. Anyway, this Pokemon is actually helping us and that's what Nemona is actually explaining right here. Let's see what happens next. Well, yeah, as it should be, but it can't fight while it's like this. The form Koraidon takes in battle, that's its true form. Ooh, I think we did see that. Koraidon? Is that this Pokemon's name? How would you know it? And... Okay. You can't go into that lab. It's locked. I don't ever remember seeing you before. But given the uniform, you go to the academy too. Do you? Koraidon isn't the sort of Pokemon that any old trainer can actually command. It's special. Special how? What sort of Pokemon is it? I mean, we really don't know. You think you're up ordering Koraidon around? Then how about I test your worthiness? Uh, sure. I guess we do have to battle Arvin right here, uh, which is pretty fine. All I'm hoping is that he has a Pokemon under level 6. Then we shouldn't have too much of a trouble. Alright, here we are challenged by him. And he has a Squirrel of his own. Alright, since I did have my Sprigatito up in front, I'm gonna be bringing it out. And I guess Arvin is our another rival. 
not sure on that but his squivet is at level 5. That is pretty good since we are easily able to defeat it with Leaf Age. And it seems like my Sprigatito is definitely leveling up pretty fast. Not really sure if we are supposed to level it up this much. I might actually try and switch out a bit and try to use some other Pokemons to cast the wild Pokemons when we are running around. But for now, we were easily able to defeat Arvin, so that is pretty good. Alright, now that he is defeated, let's see what his or what he has to actually tell us. And these transition windows definitely take a lot of time. Anyway, let's see what Arvin has to say. Whoa, Dash, that was awesome. I guess I wasn't ever going to stand a chance using some Pokemon I'd only just caught. But if you really think you can take Coridon off my hands for me, you'll need this. It's a Pokeball that Brute's been kept in. Ooh, okay. I seems like Arwen doesn't really like Coridon right here for some reason. Pretty weird, but I am glad to take it. I have no issues. Anyway, that thing's your problem now, not mine. Good luck. And saying that Arvin runs away. What? Oi! You cannot just leave us like that. Fine, be that way. But you better actually show up to the school. What a weirdo. Definitely. I mean, I was not expecting that. But I'm really glad that we were able to get Koraidon right here into our party. That Arvin guy definitely knows more than he's leading up to. Next time, he and I are battling. I'm gonna bring some answer out of him. Ah, oh, that's good. Oh, but right, we were gonna climb up the lighthouse. Can't wait to show you the view of our school. So, I am also interested in the lighthouse, but definitely interested more in seeing what item we have around here. I'm pretty sure we will have one. And of course, I was right, there is another item right here. Pretty cool, we did get a revive which is quite helpful and it seems like this region is going to be quite vast and as far as I've seen it is going to be open ended which means I will be running around quite much. Um, as you can see over here, I did switch out for me up in front to just test how good it is. Other than that, let's quickly climb up the lighthouse and see what we can see from here. Alright, it seems like we are in the South Province, Sector 1 or Area 1 and running around the lighthouse. The ocean looks amazing. I mean, I really like it, the sparkling water. But I think we do have to look at the other direction in order to see our academy. Alright, other than the academy, which is right there, we do have quite a few mountains around this area, as well as a few waterfalls and a big ocean. Pretty cool. I really like this view up here. Um, I think I would spend whole day just looking around. But of course, we do have to continue with the playthrough, so let me quickly talk to Nemona. Look, Dash, that's Mesa Goza. Okay. I guess that is the place where our academy is. And that huge building with the Pokeball on it is our school. Pretty cool. It's a pretty high place as well. It's gonna be so great having you in the same class, Dash. I am looking forward to it as well. Alright. Right, I can't wait to get back. We gotta get to learn so much. Isn't it awesome what you can see up from here? It definitely is. I personally really like the views. Mountain forest grassland, beautiful nature stuff as far as the eyes can see. Definitely pretty cool. And you know what's waiting for you all over the natural space? Tons of Pokemon. And consider this me officially telling you, welcome to Paldea. Alright, so that is pretty cool. And Anyway, like you can see, it is kind of a hike to get to school from here. That is definitely true. 
Let's make it to Los Paltos for starters. That's right on the way. All right, I guess it's kind of like a smaller village before the main city. Vamos, come on. All right. I guess we are finally going ahead and going to the school. That is the main goal for today's episode. Let's hope we'll be at the academy by the end of this. I haven't really thought about releasing a smaller video for this one. I feel like since we are in the beginning of the game, uh it's better to just cover up most of these areas in the beginning. After all, we do have a lot of dialogues right here, so it does take quite some time. Anyway, it seems like we do have a trainer coming up, but luckily in this game, it seems like trainers will not challenge you when they see you, but if you talk to them is when they will actually challenge you, which is pretty cool. I think this is going to give us a chance to actually explore before challenging them. and definitely that is what i'll be doing right here again like last episode i'll go ahead and speed up this part where i'm just running around and catching all the pokemons you can definitely go ahead and skip this part of the video but if you want to see what kind of pokemons you can actually catch you can definitely go ahead and check this out well for beginners i did start with catching a bezel which is pretty cool and here we have a azurel again a really good starter i'm just trying to catch it i did see a couple of other pokemon such as psyduck running around as well as some lechonks in this area as well but as far as i've seen in the map there is a small cove that we can actually visit a small kind of beach area which is going to be right here if you go to the right side and i'm just exploring it right here to see if we have any other pokemon that we can actually catch over here all right as you can see here i did find a psyduck which is at level 6 and it seems like definitely the pokemon are leveling up since i'm not focusing just on one pokemon in my team it seems like i am definitely having some issues with leveling up my team members But once you find a proper team member, I think it will be easier to just level only two of them up. For now, I'll just catch all the Pokémons and just add them to my team, and let's see what we can find next. The last Psyduck sadly actually died for a critical hit, so I had to try this one once more. This turn, here is another one, and I'm not gonna be trying to take it down. Um since we are still kind of in the beginning of the game I think I feel like we can actually catch it directly with a pokeball All right there we go we have got a psyduck pretty cool The only thing that I do kind of feel is a little bit disadvantage is kind of like the uh, area where the pokedex is being entered it kind of does have that cut scene uh which is a bit too long especially when you're running around trying to catch pokemons uh it gets a bit annoying after some time but other than that we did actually find couple of wiglets right here and you do definitely have to sneak up on them otherwise they will actually go into their holes and you won't be able to actually encounter them which is pretty fine um i was able to sneak up on this one and over here i did throw my pokeball and of course we were able to actually catch it of course the graphics was a bit weird over there uh, not sure what happened maybe it was because the pokeball was underwater but either way we were able to catch a wiglet which is a water type in this game over here i'm just looking around as you can see there is a magic cup and for some time um sometimes the zr button doesn't really focus where you want it to actually go I can also definitely try using let's go feature which I did right here and sadly for me actually defeated that magic cup. Luckily this one was on shore so that is how I was able to actually encounter it. And of course I did not bother attacking it. I just went with a pokeball and we were able to catch it. All right, pretty good. Now that we have all the pokemons right here in this secret shore I think we can actually go back and challenge the trainer that we skipped. 
as far as i've seen the pokemon around here are around level 8 so if you want to kind of train up your team members you can definitely do that right here for the beginning of the area but again i am not sure at what level our team members are actually supposed to be in i think we'll get to know once we battle the trainer right here so i'm just running back all right we didn't really find any other pokemon in this side of the bridge uh, other than the ones we actually caught so i did make my way back to the trainer right here all right let's talk to him and see what pokemon he has youngster elin all right i guess he's not supposed to be here but of course he is here and challenging us all right the pokemon is at level 5 so i guess we don't really have to uh, train up our team members so that is pretty good i have been using for me for quite some time and it is leveling up it's at level 8 i think i'll switch it out after this battle um just to try and use the other pokemons as well all right the battle has been pretty good um pomi definitely has some really good moves i haven't really decided if i want to actually add it to my team but with the pokemons i currently have i think it's pretty good to have in my team either way we have defeated the trainer so finally i think we can actually move on and go across the bridge as well let me continue speeding up and try to catch more new pokemons seriously the starting area has a lot of new pokemons i think personally this is the first game that has so many new pokemons in the first area itself um usually when you play a pokemon game probably you will have around 5 pokemons in the first route but this one definitely has more as you can see i did encounter a rolls right here so i'm just going ahead and catching this one as well pretty cool i think there are couple of other pokemons that i did see uh, again if they run away when you are either encountering another pokemon or if they timed out just run around they will appear back again sometimes some of the pokemon such as pommy or uh, hopeps will actually kind of come in a horde you know like 4 to 5 of them in one place so just run around and you will be able to encounter a lot of new pokemon all right here i did find a eagle buff which is pretty rare i mean i have never seen a pokemon game with eagle buff in a root so i was quite surprised to see this one Anyway, I decided to go ahead and catch it as well. All right, now that we have it registered, I will go ahead and look around. I think there is another Pokemon around here, and it's Fido. As you can see, Fido is right here, and I accidentally encountered a Eagle Buff. Let me run away. As you can see, when I was encountering the Eagle Buff, the other Fido actually ran away. but thankfully the second one was here so i was actually able to encounter this and try to catch this one here in case if your pokemon runs away do not worry just run around the area until it appears back again and you can try encountering it that is what i have found also do not just go through the path i would definitely recommend you guys to go out of the path and look around the corners Um sometimes you'll find a couple of pokemons just sleeping aside and you probably wouldn't have encountered them before. For me that did happen. Um I was just picking up some items around here and just around the bend right here I was able to find another new pokemon uh which was quite surprising. As you can see I actually found a couple of dealings right here. Um which I would have definitely missed if I did go through the path itself. Either way, I'm quite happy we were able to find a lot of Pokémon in this first two areas. Now there is a lot of new places that you can actually explore in this first area, and I did actually skip a lot of them. If you see the map right here, um, there is a whole area in the right side of the path, which does go down to another small ruin. but i did not bother going over there because i just wanted to go to the academy first 
<laughs> so for now we'll just go back to the academy and probably will come back here to explore these regions later luckily i did get a chance to catch a whooper as well which was pretty amazing i really like whooper and in this game it's actually a ground and poison type which is pretty cool um personally i think i will try and use it in my team to see how it is Anyway, here you can see me just exploring around and I don't seem to see any new Pokemon. Uh, I think there are a couple of them in the right side which I was just not planning to actually explore. As you can see, the right side has a whole huge area over there. I could have explored it, but I does feel like those areas are kind of meant to be unexplored. Maybe once we go to the academy, talk to the people over there, we might get a quest to come back over here. So I just ignore them. Anyway, here we have our second trainer or the second NPC trainer battle. Let's quickly talk to him, and it seems like apparently this one is going to our academy. So it's pretty cool. Let me quickly go ahead and defeat this Lechonk, who is again at level five. As you can see, my Sprigatito is at level 10. Um, definitely, I am kind of over level for this battle. But I guess it is because of the fact that I was catching so many new Pokemons. Either way, we were easily able to defeat this trainer as well. Alright, since we are quite close to the next area, let's quickly go ahead and move on. I think there is no other new Pokemons that we can find around this, so I will just continue with the gameplay. Alright, here we have Nemona and oh dash over here. I guess she is gonna be introducing us to the Pokemon Center in this game. Again, Pokemon Center in this game is pretty cool. It's actually an open area and you do have the shop. Uh, healing of your Pokemon as well as the TM center right here. Pretty cool. The blue one is a shop as I just mentioned and you can actually trade items for LP points as well. And the green one is going to be the TM machine. Now as far as I've seen LP points is something that is quite helpful in this game and as you can see Nemona actually gave us 5000 LP points which is pretty cool. But I am not sure how helpful it is. I have seen that it does help us uh, with shopping. Uh, that means you can actually exchange your LP points for certain items. But you can also go ahead and exchange your Pokemon for items as well. So I'm not really sure what will actually help us with the LP points. Other than that, it seems like Nemona is finally talking about the Let's Go feature right here. So if you want to just go ahead and use the let's go feature, as I said before, use your R button uh, in the R or the right controller, which will actually let your Pokemon go out and battle the uh, opponent on its own. Either way, I quickly healed up my team members and it seems like Pokemon centers each time you go to a newer one, they'll actually give you a certain tip. Which is pretty good since we are in this new game and I definitely need more tips for myself. Also, you can actually register your birthday right here. Maybe you will get something special on your birthday. So that is pretty cool. Again, in the shop, it seems like we can definitely buy items with the pocket dollars. But you have a chance of using the ELP points as well. So it will actually ask you whether you want to pay with cash or pay with LP points. You can use either of them. The TM terminal right here is pretty cool. Uh, we do have a couple of TMs that we can actually uh, use right away. If you have a lot amount of LP or if you have all of the uh, items that is required to teach these moves. As you can see there are quite a few that I really like especially the Thunder Fang, Fire Fang and Ice Fang right here. Sadly, I think there are a few of them which I don't really have the items to. So, I won't be able to actually uh, teach these moves for now. Alright, now that we have checked this place out, I think it's finally time for us to go to uh, Mesogona. Which is actually kind of northeast from here. 
for now let's explore this small village um as you can see there are kind of couple of npcs and it seems like this npc right here is actually selling ice creams ooh okay each of these ice creams do have a certain power this one has the raid power as fairy it does have some of them have the catching power of electric some of them have raid power of dragon there's also a egg power as well which i think will help you um get eggs when you're doing picnic but that feature is kind of still locked for us so it's not going to help us even though it is not going to help us i did try this mango ice cream i mean it just looked delicious either way we all apparently tried it and everyone really liked it as i said before it does give us quite a few traits and not sure if that's going to actually help us but that is right available over here anyway i'm not going to be exploring too much of the areas around this place i feel like we are so close to the academy and yet we are not going there so i think we do have to explore it all right i wonder if these houses are ooh no mind i thought they might be explorable but as you can see it just zooms in the camera and we are really not able to explore these areas so that is okay there is a girl right here with a black torus which i feel like is a paladin form uh it's a regional form for torus which is pretty cool and again i do not want to get sidetracked so let me go back to the path i feel like i'm going to just side track and explore this whole area if i don't go through these paths i did try exploring this house but apparently all the houses in this areas are locked so definitely you can't explore any of them and of course the icon for pokemon violet is coming up it says ready to play uh i did buy a dual pack so i do have a chance of playing pokemon violet as well but for now we will be paying pokemon scarlet All right, it seems like this path up here is the one we definitely have to take if we have to go to the academy. I was just wondering if Nemona is going to be following us or if we have to just go back to the academy. But I guess since we don't really have anything else to do, we are probably going to be just making our way to the next Pokémon Center, which you can see right here, which is in Mesagoza. All right, let's make our way to that Pokémon Center and see what we can do next. Over here again there is a vast area which we can again explore. We are still in South Province Area 1, but definitely this field right here is again explorable. I did see a pond right here and I got excited to see if there were any Pokémon. There were three search kits, but as you can see I am trying to encounter them or for a battle but apparently that's not happening. All right, I tried multiple times but it seems like the search kids don't really want to battle me so they are just ignoring me. All right, I guess we are not supposed to battle them here. So let me actually make my way back and I guess we can explore the rest of the way to the academy. Over here I actually found a Sunkern which was pretty cool. Um again another Pokémon I was never expecting in Pokémon Scarlet. So I did go ahead and catch this one as well. All right, let me go ahead and register its data in the Pokédex and I believe we have a couple of trainers in this route that we can actually battle. So let's check that on out as well. All right, here is the next trainer. Apparently these people are just standing here without going to the academy even though they are supposed to go there. This is pretty fine for me I guess. I mean, we do get a chance to actually battle these pokemon. Here is a Bonsweet which is a pokemon I really like. Um I can I am not really sure where to actually find this one. But if you do want to check out where to find a particular pokemon, all you have to do is go to the Pokédex and select it photo or the album that you can actually see for that pokemon and i think you have to just click on the plus button which will actually tell you the location of where to find that pokemon that is actually quite helpful 
um that way you will be able to just uh, check out if it's anywhere closer and try to catch it all right now that we have defeated this trainer i think we can actually move on further again we do have a vast area in this part as well which i can definitely explore but i am again gonna be ignoring half of them and just try to see if i can find any new pokemon now sometimes when you are running around through these fields you will be able to find small items sparkling on the field um go ahead and click on these sparkling items it's usually a berry or you know some kind of berry so definitely it's quite helpful oh here i was actually able to find a pupa and i thought i can actually go ahead and catch it with a pokeball but this pupa had a different idea for some reason i actually struggled to catch this one um out of all the pokemon i have encountered till now it was this pupa which gave me a lot of trouble as you can see i think i threw around 3 to 4 pokeballs and i was still not able to catch it so i did decide finally that i'll go ahead and you know try to take its health even more down until we red and try once more maybe then we'll be able to actually catch it Pupa is pretty cool. I think it's one of those Pokémon just like Butterfree which will actually evolve pretty fast. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to actually uh evolve this one. I just went ahead and caught it and kept it in the box. At least we were able to catch it in the fifth Pokéball, which was pretty good. Anyway, now that we had this Pupa, I just went ahead and looked around. There were a couple of items I actually missed. One being right here. Again, I sent out my Spigatito to go ahead and get it. There was a small area right here which actually had three items, which is pretty cool to see. And of course, the green color light means it's a TM. The red one means it's actually a item. So if you're running around and see a green sparkling light, then definitely it's actually a TM. So. go ahead and pick it up anyway as you can see if i go to the north there is a very huge area over there which we can actually explore but once again just trying to stop myself from exploring i just focused on going back to the path uh, so i can actually make my way back to the academy on the way i actually found this catbug which i really wanted to defeat Thankfully I was able to defeat it after a couple of tackles and I did have to sadly switch in my Lechonk up in front but this also gives me a chance to try and see how good Lechonk is. We do have another trainer right here so I did go ahead and talk to him. It does take a couple of seconds for you to actually uh, you know for the game to load up the battle cut scene apparently um that is also a thing I actually saw. but we were eventually able to go ahead and battle the trainer and defeat the trainer as well lechonk apparently has a really good move set it does have a code voice which is pretty cool and it does have the salaming voice as well so really solid pokemon for the beginning of the game uh, personally i really like using lechonk right here Anyway, now that we have defeated this trainer, I think it's finally time for us to go ahead and go up this path, see what else we have. We are quite close to the academy now, so we should be able to reach the next city, which is the Mesogoza city, and see what we have over there. All right, it seems like we have another Pokémon Center right here. This is pretty cool. I'll actually go ahead and heal up my team members over here once more. Once my Pokémon's are actually healed up, I definitely want to just look around the entrance of this area to see if we have any other items that we can actually pick up. I did again skip a lot of things that I was able to actually explore. Seems like we do have a couple of things right here. The up button being the emotes. down one being the cameras which is probably quite useful for us um this is how you will be able to get a new profile photo as well all right as you can see right here i was just trying it out 
um i did want to try it out on these hopips and apparently they are quite interested as well which is pretty weird i did not really expect them to actually come towards my camera to just smile and wave but it was pretty cool either way that is all about the cameras right here pretty cute and i think i can actually go ahead and explore a bit more over here before we enter the academy itself looking around there is a another item that i might have missed but i guess it was missed because i never explored this small part over here but of course we do have an item which is a pokeball and there is one more trainer right here to challenge as well so let me quickly go ahead and challenge this trainer who is actually the delivery guy pretty interesting um let's see what kind of pokemon he has Ooh, okay he actually has a rookedy which is pretty cool i really like rookedy i always used it in all the play games when i did play squad and shield games so pretty cool to see it right here but of course lachonk is able to defeat it with a few echo boys which is pretty cool anyway now that we have gone around these areas and are quite familiar around these locations i feel like we can finally go ahead and go to the huge door that we are able to see right there i guess that is actually the city's entrance uh, kind of looks like a moat in between the city and its entrance so let's see what we have here all right we do have a cut scene and oh i wonder if nemona is here yep she is right here i wonder if she's going to be battling us once more just like before uh if she does it's pretty cool oh okay she's actually going to be battling us once more so that is pretty nice um this turn i think she'll be having a bit higher level pokemon and let's see how many pokemon she has Again here is her signature move and of course she is challenging us. She did bring out Quagsly up in front and I had the chonk so let's see how it goes. Ooh, she does have two pokemons this time. So we do know she has a Quagsly but we are not sure which is the second one. But if you might remember the Pokemon website actually tells you which is the second pokemon. The second one as far as I remember is actually it would be a Pommy. Um that is a partner pokemon that was mentioned according to the pokemon website so I think she'll have it as well. Again, Echo Boys is definitely doing a lot of damage and I'm really happy that it is. As you can see Quagsly is going down right here. This is pretty cool. And She is going to be bringing out her next pokemon which is Pommy. All right. Spigatito seems to have leveled up to level 12 which is pretty cool. Luckily I did catch a Wooper who is a ground type Pashdi. So I think Wooper should be able to handle the Pommy. And let's see what she is going to do next. Pommy is a electric type pokemon so definitely my hooper will have the advantage it did have much shot as well so i went ahead and use that move ooh okay seems that like nemona is going to be crystallizing her pokemon which is actually pretty cool um i mean this is the first time we're actually seeing it and for me is going to be crystallizing to a electric terra type which is pretty cool in this case it pretty useless considering i am having a hooper and of course she is going to be trying to use thunder shock so if you have a hooper in your team definitely would recommend switching out to it it is very easy for us to win this battle right um i am going to be continuing uh using the move machot best thing and as you can see my hooper is actually quite under leveled it is at level 7 but it is still able to take down her pommy as she just wants to use thunder shock in all the three turns that is pretty good uh, i got pretty lucky with the hooper 
and now that we have defeated her i'm hoping that she teaches how to terrestrialize our pokemon as well all right there we go that was a pretty cool battle and as you can see most of my team members are around level 10 which is pretty cool i definitely do have to keep them in the box uh, you will be able to access the box through the main menu as well for now i think i'll just have them in my team maybe anyway, we do have another small cut scene amazing look at you taking on a terrestrialized opponent and winning no problem come to think of it you can't terrestrialize your pokemon yet huh don't worry i'll get it taken care for you you've got so good with pokemon battles i forgot how new you were anyway it was fun battling you here have some revives as a thanks oh okay she's going to actually give us a couple of revives but i don't think we really need it and here is the massive door for mesagoza city and i guess we definitely do have to enter it i'm actually really excited to enter and explore that area i'm pretty sure it's going to be amazing as well we do have another massive cut scene which is taking quite some time to actually load up but again i guess it's just a bit um laggy in this game either way here we are we have finally entered the massive city and i really like the design of this city it looks pretty amazing and there are going to be quite a few shops that we can actually explore which i am very excited to do so all right there is another food court and that center place must be our academy so that is probably where we have to actually go next but i guess since we have played for so long i feel like this is a really good place for me to actually um try and end out this episode of course we do have this cut scene right here and i guess we can actually select where to go next After all this is a very huge area and i believe we'll take a lot of time to actually explore. All right, Nemona is asking us where we would like to go next and i definitely selected the food. Being a foodie, i really like food courts so probably that's the first place i would like to explore. Anyway, now that we have reached Mesagoza city and explored the other routes, caught a lot of pokemon, i feel like this is a good place. Ah uh, for me to end out this second episode. So thank you all for watching. I'll be uploading the third episode pretty soon so watch out for that. And if you would like to support me please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like my video. I'll see you guys in the next one.